how's it going guys it's in the money um otherwise known as adam how are you i'm doing an update video here i usually do one on my medical channel but i figured like most of you guys want to know what's up why has it been three months since i've posted well it's been all but confirmed that i have autoimmune encephalitis as i've started more immunotherapy there's a trial run and i'm responding to it which is good uh very slow response to it but that basically confirms uh, that I have autoimmune encephalitis, which really sucks. Um, and it makes it hard to make videos and that kind of thing. And Eric also has autoimmune encephalitis, so go figure. In addition to that, I've also lost my right nut to testicular cancer. And it's funny because I was saying I would give my right nut to not have to have, have encephalitis anymore. And God came down. He plucked my nut like a ripe grape and then left with encephalitis still roaring away. So that wasn't very chill of him. And uh, I'm going to have a few complaints that I'm going to file if I ever make it up there. And so there's that. And then I'm also on like a slew of medications that I, f I know I'd feel way better off of right now because uh, they're very sedating and they just make it. It's like I wake up, I eat, and I'm like, I am ready to sleep for another three hours. And... I don't want to do that. I want to make content and like do what I normally do, but it, it's just hard. It's like mental blocks and stuff. It's all a bunch of sedatives. It's like enough to, I'd like, I'd love to take a, a sober person and give them all the meds I'm taking and just watch how fast they fall asleep. It'd be like 20 minutes and they'd be asleep, like deep, deep sleep. So it's heavy sedatives because I was dealing with a lot of agitation and, um, which turned out to be high intracranial pressure was causing most of the agitation, which can be treated with one drug. And now I'm on a bunch of drugs and uh, they're all hard to get off of. I, I got off of uh, olanzapine, which is an antipsychotic. It's used not because I'm psychotic, but, but uh, as a sedative. Um, and uh, I got off last summer and it is hell. It's one month of hell and then it's over. It's like banging your head against the wall like the exorcist. Or whatever that movie is. But I can't do that right now because I'm just feeling out if this medication is working. Because it's a trial run of rituximab is what I'm doing. And we'll only know if it's working if I feel that it's working. And so if I get off medication, it makes me feel worse. Well, then it can be kind of distracting uh, from if the medication is actually working. Rituximab is actually working or not. So that's why I haven't made videos. It's mostly because I have this mental block and uh, I just can't perform to what I used to perform at right now. In the future, I hope that's not the case. But right now, it certainly is. And that bums me out super hard. And I just... That's just that. So... Uh, I love each and every one of you in a special and unique way. I hope to one day soon be healthy again and rejoin life. It's weird. It's, it's like I can, I can feel better on this med, but it's like still feels like I'm tripping on acid a little bit. And I'll be on this med for quite a long time, probably at least a year. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Everything is going to be unexpected turns. There always all, there always are. I just, uh, I hope that one day I just, to just return to normal life because right now I'm not I'm not in sync with reality I'm out of sync with reality and it's a very unpleasant sensation and it it makes it hard to like let's talk about stocks or like options or whatever when you're not in sync with reality and then you're on top on top of that you have a bunch of sedative meds it makes it hard and uh, just a reminder again I love you guys very much and thank you guys for your support um, I'm literally all my YouTube money is going to my brother to, uh, and then some from savings, you know, to keep him alive so he can afford his, you know, medical insurance premiums and stuff like that. And, uh, so I actually make no money, uh, none. I make zero dollars. Uh, I make negative dollars actually. So, um, that GoFundMe has, uh, helps me a lot i make like 30 to 40 dollars a day all that goes to my twin brother to keep him afloat and then i pull from the gofundme savings to to stay afloat myself so thank you guys very much for that because 
I don't know what I would do without it. It is a big lifesaver and has uh, increased the longevity. Um, made that a lot easier without having to figure out, like, do I take a loan from my parents? Do I, what do I do, you know? So big thank you for that. And uh, that's it. Love you guys. Peace out.